We are back for episode 5 of following Lazio at every Champions League fixture. We've seen two wins, one draw, one loss, and today we're attending the final home game. We went to Celtic Park where Pedro scored in the final seconds, creating <gasps> absolute carnage. <laughs> We need victory in a stadium which we packed out tonight. We're in inconsistent form, sorry is under pressure, but at Stadio Olimpico special moments can happen. Right now it's 8 in the morning, I've got a flight at 9 a.m. and yes I've only got an hour to my flight and I'm not even in the airport or through security. I think it's a myth where you have to be in the airport three hours early because security only takes what? 20 30 minutes max and then you're free although the hotel was connected basically to the airport so i don't have to walk far i absolutely despise early morning flights so 9 a.m is just about okay here we go then easy as that we are through and next stop is rome and here we are then we're in rome and i'll tell you what it's been raining here the weather is not ideal but then again it's about to be december i've got chicken to hotel but today's an early kick off 6 45 Look at the surroundings here. Flamino. Piazza del Popolo is just through there. But I need to get some food because I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten yet. This is the chosen restaurant. We'll see how this one is. I don't think you can ever go wrong with anywhere. So I've gone a little bit different today. Meatballs and I've got bread. That's just a starter though. The main carbonara is standard in it. And here is the main, the carbonara. Oh my God. Rome just never disappoints, I swear. And after the fantastic food, we had checked into the hotel. But I'll tell you what, I literally just opened the curtains and I could see Stadio Olimpico in the distance. Ponte Milvio is about a 10 minute walk away. Kickoff's in three hours time, so I better get a move on. Tonight's atmosphere is gonna be something so special. 3,600 in the away end as well. You know they're gonna make a racket. I cannot wait for this one because you know how good it is when it isn't full, but when it is full, wow. Ron McNoli's out injured. You've got Zakania out injured as well, but Celtic, they've got a lot of suspensions and injuries themselves. So it's quite an even matchup on the field. You know I've arrived when they just hand me a baguette straight away. A match day ritual, a tradition, it has to be done. Quantum Movio complete, we're on our way to the stadium. This is the walk. To the ground. We haven't had too much time today to look around the city or whatever, so we're going straight to the stadium because the atmosphere today is going to be electric. Half an hour to kick off. Come on, the boys. Here we are, then we're back. It feels like home now. My fourth time here this season. They've just shut the gates. Every single one of the gates have just shut them. So we can't even get through. We can't even get through. It's half an hour to kick off. This is not good. Not sure what all that was about, but they've just reopened it. 20 minutes to kick off now. Look at it, the beauty. Steady and it never gets old and the bangers already going off. This is a bit of a queue to get through on oh my days. That is really bad. Here we go, then we are back at Stadio Olimpico. Look at that. Come on then. And the pyros are going off. They're being chucked all over the place. The Celtics and vice versa. Here we go, man. Everything's being chucked end to end. It's all kicking off. Tell you what, this is going to be a tasty, tasty, tasty game. We all knew that. It's all 
about the football now. We are underway. Big, big clash. Big, big, big game. The whistle's already underway. Let's go! Let's go! This flag is on the air, by the way. It's been all last year on the first half. The Scots have made a chance now. And now I know where that is half time at a break. The final ball is where we're lacking right now. We're all over in possession, everything. But when they counter attack, yeah, they look a bit dangerous, but I'll tell you the second half, we need to spread out ball. And I think we'll get that chance. I think we'll get one nil. We need to be a bit more creative going forward. Corner bill again. Should have been a goal. This is such a frustrating watch, but it's just the final ball which is missing. <gasps> He's just an I dare you, mate. Come on. There is a check for VAR on the big screen here. I don't know what happened. He's going to the screen. He's going to the screen. Come on. You know how that ends up. Here we go. You love to see it, man. You absolutely love to see it. Come on. Where's the whistle? Where's the whistle? Yeah. Scarves out, man. This is what it means to all the Lazio fans here. This double club means everything, man. The King with a brace. He comes off the bench and gets a brace. He rescues Lazio. It's a vital win in the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. La, 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 la. Josh, the legend. You Lazio fans show me the love every single game and it never goes unnoticed. I really appreciate it. Especially a result like that. And as an Englishman, it means that it's a little bit more. We're having a post-match meal in Atletico. 
are 2 0 up, which means if things stay how they are, Lazio progress to the round of 16. This is unbelievable. Lazio qualify in the Champions League. I don't know where we're going to be going. We could be going PSG, Dortmund, Arsenal, Man City, Newcastle. I don't even know. But one of the big sides, we are coming for them. We've got one more game remaining, and that's Atletico Madrid away, and I'll be right there. See you soon. Forza Lazio, Sampre. I cannot believe this night. Come on.